Hello, David here. I'm going to talk about um, arrays in Java. So basically what an array is, it's a uh, list. So for instance, if we're making a grocery list, uh, and let's say we're cooking for an elf, uh, we need one, two, three, four, five ingredients. If you can get the first ingredient, you are reading my mind. Candy. Second ingredient, candy canes. Third ingredient, candy corn. And fourth ingredient, syrup. So those are the four main food groups. And then um, for flavor, we're going to add spice weasel. And of course, if you're cooking for the Keebler elves instead of the uh, Santa's elves, you can switch out, substitute candy for cookies. Anyways, continuing on, continuing on, in programming, we basically can do the same thing. Get rid of all this. What we do is we create a variable. Groceries. So that's the name of the variable. The next thing we need to do is we need to tell specifically the compiler that we are creating an array. Uh, so this basically tells the compiler this variable holds an array. That's what it tells the compiler. And then the next thing we need to tell the compiler is what type of data is held in this array. So we can have like integer, boolean, uh, but today we'll do string. You can even have object or, you know, the like. And then this is going to equal um, a new and then the type string. And right inside of here we put the size of the array. So that's kind of, kind of how it looks. And if we were to insert in here six, or five, because four main food groups plus spice, we have one, zero being zero, sorry, just counting like a simpleton, zero, one, two, three, four. And basically in programming, um, all lists start from zero. One, because it's easier to do math on, and two, because um, it's like it's easier to do pointer math on and it. it's apparently aesthetically pleasing for math. I don't know. You can look it up. Um, it's a little bit confusing and I won't explain it in this video. So basically, uh, it's now this this array that we made is now empty. So how to fill it is we have to go groceries and then we do the brackets and then the number the index basically we want to access. So we'll access the first index and set it equal to cookies because today we'll be cooking for the Keebler elves. So now right in here equals cookies. And so on and so forth. Um, basically if you try to put a 5 in here it's outside of our array so you'll get a you'll get a runtime error when it runs. Uh, you'll get an out of bounds exception, which is just a fancy way of saying you miscounted on an array. And if you also try to put like something like negative one in there, it wouldn't work. Um, and the thing about arrays is that they their size is set. So for an array, the size is set. But for the variable that holds the array, the size is not set. So you could, again, then do equals new string 7 to increase the size. So in the next video I will show how to actually program that. Alright, see ya!